Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati, and in this video, I am going to teach you about uh, you know a SQL question which I got in the recent interview. Okay, so I was giving some interview, so I uh, and I got this question. I thought to uh, make a video so that you know you guys also uh, maybe you guys get also the similar question in your interview. Okay. So the question actually they ask two questions uh, so i'm just gonna you know solve this question only but because i see this question is little bit tricky okay so uh, not tricky it's a straightforward question if you know the concept right so the question saying that calculate the y of y year on year growth and formula is this latest year minus previous year divided by previous year into 100 so and this is the output and this is the input table Correct. So you can see we have tenant one year and sale, tenant one year and the sale like that we have it right. Now what we need to do, we need to find out the y of y on basis of tenant. Okay, like tenant one, what is the y of y for this? What is the y of y uh, for this? What is the y of y right? Okay, and this is the input table. This is the output table. So you can see tenant one. Uh, since this is the first year so we cannot find out y o y so they they kept like this column year yearly growth column as null or zero we can say right and tenant one for 2015 year now what they have done they have calculated the y o y so what they have done is that see they have done like you know 5000 minus uh, 2000 divided by 2000 like that they have they have done it right now uh, to to get this output we have to make our table like this first of all so how we can do it see what i am doing what i am doing over here <clears throat> i am you know i am pasting this 2000 here i am pasting this 1000 here and this 1500 here and i am doing this formula like 5000 this column minus this column divided by this column correct so we can use over here uh, like see you can also use inner join or self join but uh, to be honest you know to make it simple we can use a lag function okay uh, okay so if you know that lag function you can easily solve this question there is nothing uh, tricky the tricky part, part is that when we have to find out or when we have to uh, you know get the uh, get the output of the previous row or the yeah of the previous row then we have to use either lead or lag okay so in this case i'm gonna use here lead only right so what what will be the you know uh, uh, answer or the solution it's pretty straight i'm gonna use a here lag right lag and sales sales is a column comma one one is the by default uh, pointer we can say over partition by <coughs> and what i need to do over here I will write uh, here uh, year, not year, tenant, right, and order by uh, year, to be honest, right, that's correct. And last year sale, something like that, I can make a table, <laughs> table, and um, make a column, and what I'll do, I'll just run it. Oops, order by, it's not only order, hence it failed. very good now you can see this is the output tenant one tenant one we have like last year sale this 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 now you can see we what we can do we can take this 5000 minus 2000 divide by 2000 formula okay so i can put here a uh, inner query something like this or if you want to make a a ct you can make make that ct also so let's keep it simple i am gonna use over here sales minus and let me first make it like this give some alias t and then t dot star t dot sales t dot last year sales something like this i will keep it right divide by t dot last year sales into 100 give some name y o y like this now if i run this solution or logic it should 
partition by something is missing over here <coughs> actually this all online compilers give some you know errors and so it does not from table a So what I'll do, I'll just keep copy it first and we'll see whether it's working. At least this should work. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I should keep here from, okay. Now if I run this, it will give me the output. See, the output is like y of y null, 150. Okay, like null, 50 and this. Now let's compare it. This is also the thread. So we just have to put a percentage. We can put it over here, right? So, uh, you know, this is a very basic question. And once, I mean, they have uh, just given me the this and this output. And I understood like, hey, I need to use either lead or lag. And I just, you know, shown them this out this logic and they understood that hey this guy know the concept right so this is how you should also you know write or solve the queries right so you do not need to write a whole solutions right and what you need to do you need to make a conversion like 40 minus 46.66 you can convert this in, into a decimal type right 4 comma 2 or something like this right so the 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 the, the thing is like you do not need to put everything uh, to solve the question just make it simple and uh, here it goes right so i hope that you understood it and please like this video and share this video uh, solve the uh, solve solve this question in a different solution and post it in the comment box so that everyone will learn it so thank you bye bye we we'll meet you in the next lecture